I'ma go roll with ice. All these brothers, my guys, know that they fly, know that they ride or die. I keep waiting on my side. CJ Ack, now I'ma go roll with ice. So some of you may have noticed that the last video finished on a to be continued. That is because your boy chucked a tantrum because the power figures were too similar. Looking back at the actual time of the video, Ducky's was four seconds quicker to come from on boost to full boost, full power, limiter, this, that. It was four seconds quicker, which means essentially this acceleration is so much better. Comes on boost faster, gets to full power faster, and Ducky has a big ass canopy and had his fridge slide and a water tank in the back. So I had took zero of that into consideration because I was hyper fixated on power figures. Chris being the little guru he is said, stop being a little bitch and actually look at it. And he was right. So another thing to consider is that back to back to back runs, Ducky's only lost minimal power. So like three horsepower over five runs Intake air temps stayed very consistent. It was just the intercoolers that let it down. Intercooler. It was just the intercooler that let it down. Whereas Jake's lost, I think it was 30-ish horsepower after five runs. So being able to be consistent with your runs, be on power and not lose your, your intake temps and everything, massive bonus. So there's a little, little tip for you. Don't get focused on one metric. There's a whole picture. Making a water tank, now fill it up to the brim. It's a water tank to go behind the headboard of the tray and I've incorporated lithium battery, battery box, battery box, painted number one batteries in all the battery box. <laughs> <laughs> incorporated these slots so that you can strap it down and it doesn't interfere, it doesn't protrude. And then this will go to the backboard. I was correct, right? That's what they're called. Thank you. Just needed a nod from the council. 52 litres, exactly. 52.7 litres. I did a calculation, but I didn't know how to work out the calculation. So I went on the internet and went length by width by depth. It's working. It's, it's puffing out. Will you, boss? So it's now today, the day after yesterday, the day before tomorrow and it's late and I'm going camping tomorrow. Ducky's car is getting picked up now, today. So the build's finally finished. I'll show you what we've done. This next gen Ranger Raptor copped a twin pod airbox, twin five inch snorks and a three and a half inch intake. That goes all the way to the turbo, heaps more acceleration, gets rid of all the sandwiching from the factory stuff, keeps all your factory sensors. And then we did a Turbo Smart blow off valve for the Subaru spec. So here we have the final version of our plate sliders. They incorporate steady lights, have removable tops, and they are freaking awesome. <laughs> so to run the slider to the chassis, we have a six mil design laser cut and folded plate that wraps around and complements the beauty of these cars so well. On the top. Now to the top. We have the Meredith Metalworks Slimline Roof Rack. They're lightweight, they're strong, they follow body lines. What more could you want? We don't do canopies, but we do fabrication. So we've got a whittle shelf. 
We've got a back wall for the red eye gear, batteries to run it, and 52 litres of water. We did the blower valve, we did our dump pipes, and we've done our tips. It's got basically all the parts that you want and need. I need. Want and need. Are you ready? It took us ages, but we've learned a heap of skills, even though I've been in it for 10 years, still always learning, still always growing. And I'm excited to bring the knowledge that I've taken from this car and put them into other builds. We've got something so special for you coming up. You wouldn't even believe it.